Once again, I welcome you to this Open Heavens Reflection on this glorious day. I pray that the Almighty God will grant you a wonderful testimony on this day in Jesus' name. My name is Abiyo Yeshego. I pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Majestic Court of Praise in Wembley. Our topic today is Regaining Lost Glory. And our Bible passage is taken from Judges chapter 16, verses 22 to 30. I read from the New King James Version. However, the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaven. Now the lords of the Philistines gathered together to offer a great sacrifice to Dagon, their God, and to rejoice. And they said, Our God has delivered into our hands Samson, our enemy. When the people saw him, they praised their God. For they said, Our God has delivered into our hands our enemy, the destroyer of our land, and the one who multiplied our dead. So it happened when their hearts were merry, that they said, Call for Samson, that he may perform for us. So they, they called for Samson from the prison, and he performed for them. And they stationed him between the pillars. Then Samson said to the lad, who held him by the hand, Let me fill the pillars which support the temple, so that I can lean on them. Now the temple was full of men and women. All the lords of the Philistines were there, about 3,000 men and women on the roof, watching while Samson performed. Then Samson called to the Lord, saying, O Lord God, remember me, I pray. Strengthen me, I pray, just this once, O God, that I may with one blow take vengeance on the Philistines for my two eyes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars which supported the temple, and he braced himself against them, one on his right and the other on his left. Then Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. And he pushed with all his might, and the temple fell on the lords and all the people who were in it. So the dead that he killed at his death were more than he had killed in his life. Our memory verse is Jeremiah 30 verse 17. For I will restore health to you and heal your wounds, says the Lord, because they called you an outcast, saying, This is Zion. No one seeks her. Samson had all, but he lost all due to a life that failed to glorify God. Is your life glorifying God? Is everything that you do, are they glorifying God? Everything he should not have done appealed to him and he lost his glory. I pray for you today that if you have lost your glory in any way, shape or form, the Lord will restore you in the name of Jesus. Why am I sure that this will happen? From the passage we read today, there was a time that Samson thought it was right to avenge himself of his enemies. He called upon the Lord for restoration and his strength was restored to him. And the Bible says that he killed in his death more people than he had ever killed when he was alive and active when the strength was there. The memory verse also says, I will restore health to you and heal your wounds, says the Lord, because you have been branded and labeled as an outcast. The people come back and say, wow, you are an outcast, but now you are the delight of the Lord. A wonderful testimony that God would give you. I received that word for someone today who is viewing or listening to me. Just return, the Lord, return to the Lord and the Lord will restore you in the name of Jesus. Our key point today is this. Are you down in defeat? Are you distressed? Are you downcast? God is giving you special grace today to bounce back. I hope you'll accept it. And God will bless you for it. Thank you very much once again for listening to us. It's been nice speaking to you today. Enjoy the rest of the day and God 
will answer all your prayers in Jesus' name. Bye.